In this video guys, I'm about to tell you how you can turn something like this to this. Come on! There we go! How to build Immersive Rig Step 1 Find a bag of money Step 2 Be a racing engineer What do I know? I'm just delivery driver and definitely have no money or engineering skills but what I have is enormous love for sim racing and very very vivid imagination All this is way more simple than it looks and Definitely not expensive. Let's dive in. As long as you are running on triple screen setup and have your wheelbase and pedals, you can recreate that environment in relatively tight budgets and immerse yourself in the experience. As I am trying to bring myself for years as close as I can to that beautiful VR experience, I have been into constant tweaking and I have found few key elements which I will share with you but Let's start from the beginning. The first problem I had on my old setup was the physical distance between my eyes and those 32 inch monitors. Because I need specific height to have my eyes on the dead center for proper projection of the picture, I had to put them behind the wheelbases I used and I was sitting way too far. 78 centimeters to be precise. So, first I needed solution for that problem and that was wheelbase extension. Moza have their own version in 150 and 200 millimeter which have that low profile and will allow me to put their bases behind the middle monitor on just the perfect height in relation to my eyes and all that without losing the power of connectivity. It is beautiful piece of kit with all the cables and bolts needed for that conversion and very reasonable price as always from Moza. If you are on that ecosystem, problem solved. If you are on SimMagic ecosystem, they have their own extension kit as well and again in 200mm without losing connectivity. As I am constantly swapping and testing different bases in this channel, I haven't found yet wall profile extension for the Simulcube, but I may change the QR and attach one of the Moza extensions to the shaft and use those Energestel QR systems which become my favorite anyway. One of the downsides of those extensions is if you have flex on your base will be a bit more pronounced but in normal torques up to 10-12 I use daily on my rig it feels absolutely fine. Once I fixed my sitting position and proper angle of the steering wheel and pedals, I slide the rig under the triples and bring the distance down from 78 to 58 centimeters and oh boy, it makes huge difference. Now peripheral vision is 100% covered and every part of the virtual car match the size of the physical environment and really is in the correct distance. The perspective feels way more natural. Actually, the main reason to take apart my old rig was to get physically closer to the monitors and it worked even more than I imagined. Except those visual benefits, ergonomically it makes all the difference. The P-frame get further away and give much more freedom to my legs and having those huge bases behind it gives much more space for my button boxes. As I've said, the only downside can be a little more flex if your rig is not sturdy enough, but that is a fixable problem. So, let's start filling the space. As my rig site is near my wall, I cover the site with black alcantara-like material which absorbs very well the light and put two boxes on the height of the gear and handbrake bracket. Found those aluminum plates in the local market which are 50 by 25 centimeters and put two of the bottom and one in front with 
little inclination. Next step was the roll bar tubes. Those are 3.5 cm diameter PVC tubes with few different corners which after painting in white matte color really create the look of real part of roll gauge. Those are not attached firmly anywhere because I need the freedom to move them around to match them as extension of the different cars with different gauge positions. Another very important part for the immersion is to match the perspective of the triple screen projection. The right monitor have that deep perspective and to achieve that it gives that picture with slight angle and the virtual gauge on the right looks thinner than the left which in real world are closer to us. To match that visual effect the tubes I use on the left are 5 cm diameter versus 3.5 on the right. That difference in size between left and right is very important as it matches the projection on the screen and watching through the windshield it really gives depth to my peripheral vision. On the left side I have that triangle shaped tube want to match the front bar to which I attached that little beautiful Lumerang flag system from Sim Racing Addict with the idea of blurring the transition between virtual and real and the other part goes deep and gives that illusion of connection with the other bar behind the dash which again gives little 3D dimensional feeling. Those tubes are attached to the side of the triple screen stand with velcro straps and I can easily move the angle to match different virtual car's cage positions. The Lumerang display have mounting point on the back so I just drill a hole and pass the bolt which gives me that horizontal adjustability. And the front tube can rotate as well so no matter which angle we'll take I can adjust the screen in the correct position. Next is the sidebar which I end up cutting one of those connection parts on the back and attach it firmly to the monitor stands because I am getting in and out of that rig many times and this space is not just used for driving. I needed to make that part removable so I have the tube dressed in some safety nets and I can easily take it on and off. On the top I use 3.5 cm diameter tubes in this weird shape which just sit on top of the monitors and start from the top of that front virtual gauge and just goes around. I'm surprised how something so simple gives that feeling of sitting in actual race car and total cost of that cage with the paint and grunt 76 euro. Next very immersive part are those side safety nets. Usually I do those myself but it's really time consuming so I found the cheapest ones on this website. At the end with the duties and taxes I paid in total 300 euro for two of those but honestly if you have the patient and the time with 30-40 euro you can get the materials and do them yourself. One very important part is the placement if you want the best results so I drilled two holes on my seat only for the top side and the bottom two just tied together. The heart and the most important part is the front connection as I want them to begin from the virtual connection and blend with the entire picture. I found a very old table triple screen monitor stand in my basement which I used 8 years ago and took two of the arms. Again I attach the flat part to the outside of the monitor stands and bring the arms just around the virtual nets connections. Then I tie the screw in long bolt which sticks just in front of the virtual connection and use those velcro straps which allows me to tie as much as I want. Sure some people will make jokes about it but that's fine. They probably don't understand our world. Life is all about sensation and what makes one experience real is just the way we feel about it. Sim racing is my hobby and if I can spend just an hour after a shitty working day, I have to make that hour as good as possible. Next is the button box console. No, being so many years into this I have collected many things and built something complex which I will show you in a minute but if you want something affordable check the sim racing addict 
dashes and sim racing for EU button boxes. Those are mostly the parts I used here. Having this big button box was probably enough, but I wanted to use my stream decks and the Apex sim racing box with those two really beautiful rotary knobs. First, I had to think about the layout, and once I decided how I like them the most, I start drilling holes, changing button places on different parts, sticking together different pieces, and here is the end result. Now I have full control of the lights for day and night experience. The attachment is also very simple, only one aluminum frame used with single corner. Those aluminum rigs can be modulated all the time. Now with single screw I can take the entire console and test different one if I need. The shift attach right now is from SG Sim Racing, which in my opinion is the best in terms of feeling with very reasonable price and the age break from Sim Magic, but in the next days I will attach the Bash Sim Racing shifter for full review as that is the first active shifter I ever tested and the touch is insane. Right now I use the Imsim Talento pedals, which are also one of the best on the market and my personal favorite, but soon we'll attach the Moza for test and review and then cube controls which have the best break in terms of feeling I ever tested except the Simu Cube which are completely different touch. Anyway, all that gear is not the point of that video as I'm constantly swapping and testing and it is more about peripherals which can give you immersion on completely different level with your existing gear. So, on top I have fourth monitor and on both sides I have cut a triangle shaped piece of cardboard dressed in Alcantara to isolate completely from my room without making the rig claustrophobic with roof. Little bolts keep piece of velcro straps and are attached to the aluminum arms of the fourth monitor. Philips hub bars on both sides attached again with velcro. One more Philips bar behind the right monitor to light up the passenger area and those lights will be probably used mostly for night experiences. On top of the rig is this huge soft box with studio light which is full RGB and color temperature control and the lightning is big part of the experience as the color temperature and intensity are what gonna match the real part with the virtual. So, Assuming you already have your rig and gear, those parts which makes a difference cost me not more than 300 euro including Alcantara, plates, tubes, painting sprays and if I had only time to create my own nets. If you want to go a step further with the light setup, the two Philip play bars with the bridge are another 109 euro and if you want studio light, the Sokani 600 RGB is very affordable for what it is. The rest is just little imagination and as you get some ideas you can really create beautiful space for your lovely hobby. And please show me your creation as I am getting inspired from you. Now create your vision and make your space beautiful. I know the biggest part of your day sucks, just like mine, so we deserve it. <laughs>